The Salmon Arm Recreation Society was fortunate enough to be chosen by the BC Recreation and Parks Association Everybody Active Initiative as one of the communities that received um, a grant. We identified that there was a huge need that people living on low income were not given equal opportunity to use the recreation facility because there is no existing policy, there is no existing program in place to allow people the opportunity to come into this recreation facility um, at no charge or with a reduced fee. I'm a stay-at-home mom, I don't have childcare and to pay for childcare to go do something for myself isn't really something I do. <laughs> Because I moved to Salmon Arm, I had to give up my full-time job at Edmonton, and there hasn't been a lot of employment opportunities suitable to my work skills. So as I look for employment, I have to be careful with my budget. I lived on the streets in Vernon for almost um, 10 years, and um, since moving to Salmon Arm, I was able to get out of that lifestyle. When I was living on the streets, I wasn't aware, nor did I really care at that point um, about any of my needs. Um, I heard about Fauna in the newspaper or about this program and so I called about it. I thought it might be fun to meet some new people and, and get some exercise. I first became involved with the Salmon Arm Recreation Centre when I was walking downtown and I saw a brochure for the Women Alive program and um, I immediately went home and phoned and um, found arrangements to go to the Downtown Activity Centre for an orientation for the program. When it was time to choose an instructor for the Women Alive program, I identified very quickly that Marla would be a really good choice because she's a very supportive person and Marla has shown out to be a fantastic instructor for the program because she is very supportive. She uh, truly has an interest in wanting to make the pro program work. Uh, the Women's Alive program is a lot different than teaching the regular aquafit classes. Um, it's a lot more personal. We get the same group of ladies pretty much every time. Um, we really develop a personal relationship with each one. Marla well, helped me. She helped, she helped a lot. Teresa has really come through with her courage um, using the deep water. When we first started, she did not want to go in the deep water at all. And um, there was a few weeks where Donna was trying to get the program off the ground and it was just Teresa and I that would show in the pool. And so Teresa and I would um, take that opportunity to do some swimming and using the deep water to become more comfortable and kind of develop a relationship there. And, and it was really neat to see how she put a lot of trust in me in something that she was really f afraid of and um, has come a long way. Laura. Uh, entered the program on the first day in the orientation and was very nervous, um, didn't have a lot of um, supplies as one might say. She didn't have a bathing suit and so we provided her with that. Didn't have any friends um, to come into the program with. Quickly made some friends, started to socialize with the other ladies in the AquaFit program, in the Women Alive program. It was fantastic. Um, I was greeted by a lady named Donna Fatman, and she was absolutely amazing, so friendly, and just it was. She was so caring. Um, she was able to offer um, so many different things for so many people, um, such as bathing suits or bus passes or um, child care is available as well. Basically, to have the child care with this program, it w it just means I can go. Fisher really enjoys. He comes with his friend Olivia, and they play. They do crafts. He likes the trains. Teaching this program has been very fulfilling. Um, seeing the participants become stronger, um, their dedication, seeing them come every week no matter what's going on in their lives, uh, is really inspiring. It's really nice that I can get out and get some exercise. My life is very different from two years ago. Um, and it's, it's mainly, in, in fact, part to the Woman Alive program because it gave me the confidence and the skills that I needed, um, the friendship skills and, and, and just feeling healthy. Um, it gave me that confidence to go out and do things. I started college in, in the fall of 2009 and I'm taking a psychology class and, and an English class. Laura was just a wonderful learning, learning experience for me who was um, living in a very um, bad situation prior to coming to the Women Alive program 
and we we saw her grow from the program. Over the past few months I've realized that many of the people that are living on low income have, um, I term it as their lives get in their way, but it's not they get in their way the same as um, myself, in that they have um, survival things that they need to take care of in order to feel that they can um, to make the the move to recreation to try and uh, make the time to be able to come into into a recreation facility isn't always at the top of the list. Dealing with these other things are, are more important. Basically I can't say enough about the program. I've met some wonderful people, I've enjoyed the instructor and it's really helped me by processing all that negative energy. I've been coming for about eight months now and I feel uh, good about myself, better about myself and I feel stronger too. People who are included feel like they are part of the community. It's a, they, they will take part at a greater, le greater level. They'll move on to different activities and different ventures in their lives and, and I think for some it's a starting point. But recreation and being part of something bigger than yourself I think is, is really important to everybody, not just those who who don't have the opportunity, everybody, everybody needs to be part of, of the community and I think these programs help people with that. I think people um, in the community really need to understand that um, people who have maybe been marginalized within the community um, also need to feel they belong. Coming to the Recreation Centre and doing the Women Alive program really made me feel part of the community.